The summer of 2010 might go down in history as one of the hottest ever recorded here in Louisiana. Now, you don't need me to tell you how uncomfortable it's been outside lately, but think about what the heat was like on livestock and row crops. As this week in Louisiana Agriculture's Avery Davidson shows us, the high temperatures are exacerbating drought conditions in many parts of the state. For Louisiana farmers to grow soybeans that look this green, many depend upon Mother Nature to bring regular rains. But in some parts of the state, well, Mother Nature is a bit behind. From Alexandria northward, we've got places that have seen less than half their normal rainfall for the course of the year, and more importantly, since the spring into the middle of the summer now. This map shows you exactly how much of the state is behind on rainfall. The areas shaded in light orange are areas of moderate drought. The bright orange areas are where the drought is severe. That adds stress to Louisiana's farmers and ranchers. The good news is, Grimes says the ridge of high pressure responsible for keeping Louisiana hot and dry appears to be falling apart. Looks like that ridge will continue to weaken as we head through the weekend and into next week, so at least some marginal relief. But it's going to take a long run of wetter the normal conditions to really alleviate the drought that's developed. And that's why farmers and ranchers there will keep looking to the skies. I'm Avery Davidson for this week in Louisiana Agriculture.